Have you ever wondered which countries are home to the most Muslims? Today, we dive into the fascinating world of Islam, a faith that resonates with nearly a quarter of the world's population. Originating in the 7th century, Islam is comparatively younger than other major world religions, but is spread rapidly across the globe. It's not just a religion, it's a cultural cornerstone in over 50 nations. This video will spotlight the top 10 countries where Islam isn't just practiced, but deeply woven into the everyday lives of the majority. From bustling cities with ancient mosques to remote villages where calls to prayer echo through the mountains, join us on a captivating journey to understand how Islam shapes the lives of billions. Remember your engagement helps us bring more such insightful content to you. So, if you enjoy our videos, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much for your support. Number 10. Algeria Explore the rich Islamic heritage of Algeria, where an impressive 44 million Muslims constitute about 98% of its diverse population of 45 million. Predominantly Sunni, this North African nation's engagement with Islam began between 670 AD and 711 AD, during the era of the Umayyad dynasty's ambitious expansions. The historical sweep of Islam across Algeria marked a significant transformation for the native Amazigh people, who transitioned from their traditional beliefs in Christianity to embrace Islam fully. The rugged deserts and vast mountains of Algeria witnessed these profound shifts as the Islamic faith deeply embedded itself into the cultural fabric of the region. By the 11th century, the dominance of Islam had significantly reduced the presence of other religious practices, weaving a complex tapestry of faith that continues to influence every aspect of daily life in modern Algeria. Today, Algeria's Islamic heritage offers a rich narrative of cultural synthesis and religious devotion, providing valuable insights into the power of faith in shaping societal values and practices. Number 9. Sudan – A Historical Journey of Religious Transformation Sudan, positioned in northeast Africa and bordered by Egypt to the north, is home to a substantial Muslim majority, numbering 47 million out of its nearly 49 million residents. As of 2024, Muslims make up 97% of its population. This predominance of Islam in the region is a relatively recent historical development. Originally, the Nubian kingdoms of Sudan were deeply rooted in the Coptic Christian tradition, similar to their northern neighbor, Egypt. The spread of Islam into the region began in the 7th century through interactions between Arab traders and the local Nubian populations. Despite these early Islamic influences, the region remained largely Christian until the Nubian kingdoms began to wane. In the year 1504, the Muslim Funj Sultanate emerged, significantly altering the religious landscape. The recent history of Sudan has been marked by significant transformations. The nation was governed under Sharia law from 1989 to 2019 during Omar al-Bashir's rule. However, a landmark shift occurred in 2020 when Sudan transitioned to a secular state, ending three decades of Islamic rule and the official status of Islam as the state religion. This major shift not only underlines the dynamic nature of Sudan's religious landscape, but also highlights the evolving interplay between religion and state governance. In the present day, Sudan represents a vivid example of religious and cultural fluidity. It offers insightful lessons on the impacts of historical shifts and the ongoing challenges of defining a national identity in a complex socio-political context. For observers and scholars alike, Sudan's experience underscores the adaptability and resilience of societies in response to internal and external pressures. As Sudan forges its path ahead, it remains a poignant symbol of cultural endurance and transformation in the face of past adversities and future possibilities. Number 8. Turkey Strategically positioned at the crossroads between Europe and the Middle East, Turkey serves as a vibrant cultural conduit with its roots deeply embedded in Islamic traditions alongside its modern secular influences. This unique juxtaposition dates back to the 7th century, when parts of eastern Turkey first experienced Islamic governance during the Arab conquest. Although the Byzantine Empire staved off many early incursions, 
the tide turned in the 11th century with the arrival of the Turkic Seljuk Empire from Central Asia. This marked the beginning of a significant cultural transformation as Turkic Muslims settled in the region and gradually the local Christian population began converting to Islam. By the 15th century, the once impregnable Byzantine hold, including the prized Constantinople, capitulated to the burgeoning Ottoman Empire, heralding a new era of Muslim rule across Turkey. The socio-political landscape underwent further dramatic shifts during and after World War I, with large-scale forced migrations reshaping the demographic fabric. Predominantly, Christians fled as refugees to neighboring territories, while Muslims from adjacent regions sought refuge within Turkey's borders, leading to a predominantly Muslim demographic that persists today. Modern estimates, including those by the CIA World Factbook, suggest that Muslims now constitute approximately 99.8% of Turkey's population, with a majority adhering to Sunni Islam, though a notable Shia minority, primarily Alawites, also resides. However, it's crucial to acknowledge the diversity within this statistic. Surveys reveal a range as low as 82% due to some individuals identifying as non-religious, agnostic, or atheist, and others opting not to disclose their religious affiliations. Despite these variances, even at the conservative estimate of 68 million Muslims, Turkey remains a significant player on the global Islamic stage, ranking eighth among the world's most populous Muslim nations. This blend of deep-rooted Islamic tradition and a secular governance model offers a compelling narrative of adaptation and resilience, reflecting the dynamic interplay of history and modernity in shaping national identity. Number 7. Iran Home to approximately 87 million Muslims, Iran stands as a remarkable blend of ancient history and contemporary religious dynamics. This nation, rich in cultural heritage, traces its roots back to millennia before the Common Era, initially flourishing under the monotheistic Zoroastrianism. The seismic shift to Islam occurred in the 7th century following the conquest by the Rashidun Caliphate. The ensuing centuries saw a widespread conversion to Islam, predominantly Sunni until the 16th century. The Safavid dynasty, pivotal in shaping modern Iran, championed Shia Islam, which now comprises 90 to 95 percent of the Muslim population. Today, Iran's population is roughly 87.5 million, with an overwhelming 99.6 percent identified as Muslim according to government statistics. However, Beneath these numbers lies a complex, multifaceted religious landscape. In the digital era, the narrative often extends beyond official reports. Comments from Iranians under various online profiles suggest a nuanced reality with a considerable segment of the population identifying as non-practicing Muslims, agnostics, atheists, or converts who discreetly diverge from official religious affiliations due to societal constraints. This glimpse into Iran's demographic and religious composition not only highlights the rich historical tapestry that defines the nation, but also invites global audiences to appreciate the complexities of religious identity in modern contexts. As we explore the most populous Muslim countries, Iran's story encourages us to look beyond numbers and delve into the personal stories that shape each nation's cultural and religious identity. This understanding is crucial as we navigate an increasingly interconnected world where understanding and respect for diverse religious landscapes are more important than ever. Number 6. Egypt, a crossroad of faiths and modernity. Egypt, home to approximately 100 million Muslims, stands not only as a modern nation, but also as a beacon of ancient civilization. Its historical timeline is a fascinating journey from polytheistic practices, where numerous gods were worshipped, to the monotheistic faiths that shaped its cultural and social fabric. Christianity made its mark in the first century AD, with Coptic Christianity deeply embedding itself by the third century. The transformative era came between 639 and 646 AD during the Rashidun Caliphate's rule, shortly after the Prophet Muhammad's era, when Islam began its spread across Egypt. 
This period of Islamic conquest marked a significant transition with many Egyptians converting to Islam over the ensuing centuries, although a notable number remained adherent to Coptic Christianity. Today, Egypt's demographic landscape showcases a predominant Sunni Muslim majority accounting for about 90% of its population, which is estimated at nearly 110 million, positioning Egypt as the world's 15th most populous country. The remainder of the population primarily consists of Coptic Christians. The intertwining of religion with governance is evident as Egypt's constitution declares Islam the state religion, with Sharia law forming the basis of legislation, predominantly influencing family law matters. These laws are applied considering the individual's religion, acknowledging the three Abrahamic faiths, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. In modern Egypt, the coexistence of ancient traditions and contemporary societal norms offers a unique cultural richness. This blend of old and new not only underlines the country's historical importance, but also poses challenges and opportunities in a rapidly globalizing world. For today's global audience, Egypt's story serves as a compelling case study of how deep-rooted religious traditions interact with the pressures and demands of modern societal developments. Number 5. Nigeria Nigeria stands as a fascinating case study among the most populous Muslim countries globally, with approximately 121 million Muslims constituting about 54% of its nearly 226 million people. This West African nation not only boasts the largest Muslim population in Africa, but also serves as a vivid example of religious diversity and coexistence. Tracing back to the 11th century, Islam first made its way to northeastern Nigeria through the trade routes connecting North Africa to the Kanem Bornu Empire, stretching all the way to present-day Libya. The religion's reach expanded in the 14th through the 16th centuries as it spread to northwestern Nigeria via traders from the Mali Empire and continued its spread to the Yoruba areas in the southwestern part of the country. Today, while a significant majority of Nigerians are Muslim, about 46% of the population adheres to Christianity, with a smaller fraction, roughly 0.5%, practicing traditional West African religions. Nigeria's constitution upholds the freedom of religion, a vital component of its governance, allowing a peaceful coexistence among its diverse religious communities. Interestingly, some northern provinces have adopted Sharia law alongside civil law, though it is applicable only to Muslims. This dual legal system underscores the country's unique approach to integrating religious principles with modern governance. Understanding Nigeria's religious landscape offers valuable insights into the complexities of cultural and religious dynamics in modern societies. It highlights the importance of religious tolerance and the role of trade and migration in the spread of major world religions. As global interactions increase, Nigeria's model of religious coexistence provides a pertinent lesson in unity amidst diversity. Number 4. Bangladesh In the verdant heart of South Asia, Bangladesh emerges as a beacon of Islamic heritage with a robust Muslim population nearing 148 million. This nation, cradled by the expansive waters of the Bay of Bengal, stands densely populated with 166 million inhabitants, where an overwhelming 89% practice Islam, weaving a rich tapestry of faith and culture. The roots of Islam in Bangladesh trace back to the 9th century when intrepid Arab traders, navigating the ancient maritime silk routes, first made contact through the thriving port city of Chittagong. This pivotal encounter laid the foundational stone for Islam's enduring presence in the region. The journey of Islam's consolidation in Bangladesh was marked by a series of historical milestones, beginning in earnest in the 13th century, when it came under the aegis of Muslim rule with the conquest by Muhammad bin Bakhtiar Khilji, a formidable figure from the Delhi Sultanate. This period heralded a gradual but irreversible transformation as the majority of the local population began converting to Islam, influenced by the governance and cultural infusion from successive Muslim rulers. These rulers not only administered, 
but also enriched the local tapestry with Islamic scholarly, architectural, and cultural endeavors, leaving an indelible mark that would shape the region's identity. The British colonization of the Indian subcontinent in the 19th century introduced new layers of governance but could not displace the deeply ingrained Islamic traditions that had become synonymous with the region's identity. The historical trajectory of Bangladesh took a decisive turn following the tumultuous events of 1947, when the Indian subcontinent was partitioned into predominantly Hindu India and predominantly Muslim Pakistan. As part of Pakistan, Bangladesh was designated as East Pakistan, laying the groundwork for future discord due to its distinct geographic and cultural separation from West Pakistan. The quest for autonomy reached its zenith in 1971, when Bangladesh fought for and achieved independence from Pakistan, embarking on a new chapter as a sovereign nation. Today, as Bangladesh continues to navigate the challenges of modernity and development, it holds its Islamic heritage as both a pillar of stability and a springboard for future growth. This enduring connection to its Islamic roots offers profound insights into the resilience and adaptability of cultural identities in the face of changing political landscapes. Bangladesh's story encourages us to reflect on how historical legacies and modern challenges intersect to shape a nation's path forward in an increasingly interconnected world. Number three, India, a diverse mosaic of religious communities. Despite being a Hindu-majority nation, India stands out as a significant hub for the Muslim population, housing around 200 million Muslims. This figure places India among the countries with the largest Muslim populations globally, even surpassing many Muslim-majority nations. What makes this even more remarkable is that Muslims constitute only 14.3% of India's vast demographic tapestry. The history of Islam in India dates back to the 7th century AD, arriving through coastal trading routes. The religion gained a stronger foothold during the 12th century with the Ghurid conquests, echoing the spread of Islam in regions like Bangladesh, historically known as Bengal. The intricate history of religious diversity in India took a pivotal turn during the partition in 1947. Before this division, Muslims made up 24.3% of the population according to the 1941 census. However, the subsequent partition saw a dramatic migration, with millions of Hindu refugees moving to India and Muslim refugees to Pakistan, significantly altering the religious demographics. In the aftermath, the Muslim population in India was recorded at 10% in 1951, a figure that has grown modestly due to higher birth rates within the community. In the context of modern India, the presence of such a large Muslim community amidst a predominantly Hindu population illustrates a complex tapestry of coexistence and cultural fusion. For those interested in the dynamics of religious diversity, India offers a unique case study. It prompts us to consider how historical events shape societal structures and the importance of embracing diversity in today's globalized world. Number two, Pakistan a nation forged from faith. Emerging from the historical division of British India, Pakistan stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Islam on the Indian subcontinent. Home to approximately 236 million Muslims, this nation was envisioned as a sanctuary for Muslims during the partition. Today, Islam permeates the essence of Pakistani identity, with a staggering 96.5% of its nearly 244 million populace adhering to the faith. The majority of these are Sunni Muslims, complemented by a significant minority of 10 to 15 percent who follow Shia Islam. The roots of Islam in Pakistan trace back to the mid-7th century, introduced through coastal trading routes. This early arrival highlights the deep-seated intertwining of trade and religious propagation. Had history's tides flowed differently, uniting Bangladesh and Pakistan as one, they might have together hosted the world's largest Muslim population. However, with Bangladesh's separation, Indonesia now leads with roughly 242 million Muslims. Pakistan's story is a vivid illustration of how historical events shape religious demographics in profound ways, offering a lens through which we can view the complexities and dynamics of Islamic identity in modern geopolitics. 
Through understanding Pakistan's foundation and evolution, we gain insights into the broader narrative of Islam's global footprint and its implications on contemporary society. Number 1. Indonesia Indonesia, home to more than 279 million people, stands as the world's fourth largest country by population. A remarkable 87% of these inhabitants practice Islam, amounting to approximately 243 million Muslims, primarily of the Sunni denomination. This positions Indonesia not merely as a demographic heavyweight, but as a pivotal spiritual hub as well, where Islamic traditions are deeply woven into the fabric of everyday life. Despite the predominance of Islam, Indonesia's religious landscape is remarkably diverse. About 10% of its population follows Christianity, 1.7% adhere to Hinduism, and nearly 1% practice Buddhism. This plurality is embodied in the nation's Pancasila philosophy, which promotes a universal belief in a supreme deity while remaining inclusive of various religious expressions, accommodating the syncretic practices of Hindus and Buddhists alongside monotheistic faiths. This harmonious coexistence challenges the common narrative that predominantly associates Islam with the Arab world. Notably, only three countries among the top ten Muslim-majority nations are Arab, Algeria, Sudan, and Egypt. This highlights Islam's profound influence in regions like Southeast Asia, where it has been a major cultural and religious force for over 1,400 years. Indonesia's example not only underscores the dynamic and adaptive nature of Islam, but also offers a window into how modern societies can balance deep-rooted religious values with an embrace of cultural diversity. How does this blend of faith and plurality affect daily life and social policy in Indonesia? Engage with us in the comments below and share any insights or surprises you've encountered.